Hello to all you viewers and ghosty crew out there. It is a wonderful day to look into a Lovecraft inspired game. Now, actually, I did not know what Lovecraft was until I took a look into a definition. I am way out of the loop here. I did not know that I was actually into Lovecraft because I, I like Lovecraft for those that don't know what Lovecraft is. I like Lovecraft because it's something that can it's not really used to be a major horror. It's something that's supposed to be bigger than yourself, bigger than a human. So something cosmic, something that you see is like something that is totally uh, indescribable or, or can't be explained very well. And so I bring you Call of Cthulhu. This game has been out for a little while and I've been wanting to play it for so freaking long. As soon as I saw the trailer of it, but I do not know very much of the story, nor do I know anything about Cthulhu. Chapter 1, Pierce Investigations Agency, Boston. Boston, 1924. Edward Pierce, veteran of the First World War, drowns his memories in liquor and sleeping pills. He is now a private detective who has trouble finding a case able to lift him from his torpor. Pierce must find a new case quickly or risk losing his license. Alright, so I'm taking it that I'm Edward Pierce. There are some things that I do know, just from looking at the... Um, the com oh, enter the madness. Okay, cool. Just by looking at the commercials and the uh, uh, small little bits that they gave off. If I'm mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the man who is in his closeness. Sane, hideous, and HP Lovecraft. Lovecraft. Ow! That sounded a lot louder when I hit my ear. Why isn't this louder though? Oh, whoa, what is that? But this game plays a huge uh, psychological horror role where things you see may not be there or they may be there. Is it already just throwing me into the like, into the darkness? Am I gonna just start seeing Cthulhu shit everywhere? Sorry guys. Don't want to start cussing so early. You know me. I, I, I cuss when I get scared. But this looks so good. This looks so good. It looks so good. But what is that? Is that a shark? Is that a shark? It is a shark. It's a shark. It's a shark. All of these are sharks. And shiny boxes, crates. Ugh. Crouch, got it. Okay, so you can also play with a controller for those who would be preferred to use that. Wait, can't I just go and mess with this thing? Ah. Okay, I see why I can't now. Okay, so then where... Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? Counter darkness. You must light up some items in order to interact with them. Okay, well, how can I? Something is in my way and I can't even interact with it to move. Okay, maybe. Something is in the way. There we go. When an object can be picked up, press E. Hurricane lamp. Ah, so this is what was all in my way. That is such a small opening. Bolt cutters. Nice. Now I know what to do. I can go and go break that door down. By the way, it is 5 o'clock in the... It is five o'clock in the morning. Fate inescapably draws you on. In my wake, pulled along. That's what he first said. Oh, am I supposed to go investigate that next? What is that? It's a candle. Fanciest candle I've ever saw. Um, it is five o'clock in the morning. I have not slept, but sleep is for the weak. 
killer whale. Or not a killer whale, what am I saying? An orca! I know my stuff, I know my animals. Just, for some reason the names and words escape my mouth. You have been chosen. Why should I start running? I don't want to run. I want to see him. I want to see Cthulhu. I want to see you! Where are you? Okay. Guess I'll just go then. Oh! Is that me over there? Oh, look at their faces! Look at all their faces! Oh! You don't have a- you don't even have a mark on you, buddy. You just bit and red stuff. No blood. I hate whiskey. <laughs> I hate whiskey. You know, there's a funny story for me, at least, with, with whiskey. <laughs> well, I hate it. I'm... I'm gonna go ahead and drink it. Down the hatch! Gotta chase it. This will affect your destiny. Drinking a glass of whiskey has affected my destiny, everybody. Like it did in my past. Well, since I jotted down something other than my nightmares. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, the story behind my history with whiskey was that um, I only had one experience with it, or two, and this is part w with whiskey, but it is not entirely played by it. Um, I did try whiskey during my 21st birthday, and I decided to stay the night at my friend's house, and it was hilarious to me, at least, to him, maybe not so much. Uh, he told me when he was laying me down, he said, you can stay here, just don't puke on my bed. Because he laid me down in his bed. And I said, for for that, I'm going to puke in your bed. Just to mess with him. I didn't do that, though. Because I was drunk and I just said something just to mess with him. And and I came out of, of the bedroom and he's he was still awake. Don't even know what time it was. He just said, did you just throw up on my bed? I said, no. I threw up on your toilet. Because I really hope you mean in... <laughs> the doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. But I know that if I stop, the memories will return. One of these mornings, I probably won't wake up. Despite the treatment, I again hear voices in my dreams, but they are different, unknown. They seem to surface from unfathomable and ancient depths. What nameless creature is calling me? It's Cthulhu! I forgot that the music was playing. That was just... Can you, uh... Shut up. I was talking. I was creating the atmosphere, okay? Not you. That was actually a pretty cool atmosphere, though. Sorry, I can't hear you. I, I'm gonna turn up my music. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna drink more. I'm gonna drink more before I answer this. Is it gonna change my fate? Having two cups? Two drinks? Two sips? What do you want? I'm listening. Oh, I love her voice. That's correct. Hello, Mr. Pierce. I'm Lucy Sheriffield, in charge of investigators over at Wentwood. I'm calling because of a problem with your file. A fire has destroyed some of our documents. Is that right? I'm so very sorry, but I have to collect your personal information yet again. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Allocate your character points. Each character point allows you to improve the score of a skill. Uh, ACP available. Okay. So, elo eloquence represents your ability to influence those you talk to by your power of speech. Improving this skill increases your chances of convincing or manipulating dis during discussions. Okay, that's a good one, but I want to I want to take a look some more. Spot hidden represents your ability to find hidden objects. Improving this skill increases your chance of finding stuff. Uh Oh wow, this takes 6 CP, 024, oh, holy crap. Strength represents your ability to call on your physical power. 
Improving this skill increases your chances of forcing doors or mechanism or if or of using force, physical or verbal, during interactive discussions. Oh, some of these are so freaking good. Okay. There's also psycholo psychology. Represents your knowledge of human behavior. Improving this skill increases your chances of understanding the motivations of a person based on his or her behavior or the analysis of objects. Mmm, some of these are just way too good. Okay. What's occultism? Represents your knowledge of the occult. Sciences. Improving this skill increases your chances of determining the use and origin of occult artifacts. Okay, that's going to take me down to half, though. Represents your medical knowledge, improving this skill. I imagine making a diagnosis or of expressing your understanding of a medical problem. Okay, so this won't help me at all in making medicines to heal myself if I was to ever get in a jam. But still, alright, so I'm at three. Uh, I think I'm gonna let strength go for a while, for a second. Oh no 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 no! Holy crap! That's not even to level it up. Okay, so no, oh, stop that. That was only to just push the bar just a little bit. Is that points? Do. Oh, okay. All right. I'm comfortable with that then. It's just one point in order to keep pushing the bar. It tells you how much it's needed. So, 6 CP needed, uh, 2 CP needed. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually skip that. 4 represents your knowledge. Improving the skill increases your chances based on his or her behavior or on the analysis of objects. A lot of these are very good. But I'm going to go with uh, psychology. So that way, I'm a little bit well-rounded. Besides the occult and medicine. So there we go. Validate. Do you really want to validate this character point attribution? Yes, I do. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And, and here I was hoping you were going to ask me on a date. You've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do, there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Oh, Pierce, shit. I'm coming. The cinematic's not too bad. Sir, I just prefer I the gameplay, here, though, the and the story, the so I want to hear I that. In high esteem, and I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. So I'm going to try and not talk through the story parts. I mean, like, when they're talking, You're I'm going to try to shut up. Anytime, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes yeah, me. Yeah, so what? They take me for an old fool. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Now you girl, rest in my door. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, Who's honking? Her husband and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. Demon? Cthulhu? Something big? It wants me. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you She's trying to, to tell you a story. Logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes. 
please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. When did you do that? Your notebook details your current objectives. To open it, press J. All right. Like I said, I, I can use a controller. I just don't want to right now. I want to see how it handles playing on a... Or if I feel comfortable playing with a keyboard. Okay, so... Examine the painting. The doctor can well repeat to me that I no longer need my remedy to keep my memories at bay. Strange picture. Okay, painted by Sarah Hawkins is a short while be oh, oh shortly before her tragic death was sent to her father just after the artist died he's convinced that she is the cinder he brought me the painting so i could examine it the wealthiest indus industrialist came to my office he wants me to op reopen sarah hawkins case named after his daughter who died in a fire alongside her entire family well that stuff i already knew i didn't need to consult it but all right now i know what to do a warehouse on dark water some sketches of the hawkins family Rather thin. Some of it is unreadable, but I can make out part of the address, Warehouse 36 Darkwater. The police report. It says that the fire started in the dining room and claimed the whole family. The police decided on a domestic accident, but they never, nevertheless insist on Sarah Hawkins' mental frailty. Why? A press cutting, an article right, written about the marriage of Sarah and Charles Hawkins, a businessman from the island of Darkwater. They lived in a recluse life. Hmm. And that must be their son, Simon. Okay. I think we're done looking at that. Now I'm supposed to take a look at this. Okay. Oh, that strange beauty gotta hold it. isn't enough to hide the feeling of dread it carries. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Oh, oh, this is so cool. Um, you're asking the wrong guy. I read about her mental fragility in the police report something's not right find out about the warehouse I guess that must bring the quest to to start am I on a time limit I'm on a time limit um her husband something's not right deal on the island but the police are sticking to the accident theory though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile I believe you are right sir this case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. All right. Um. We're not going to bring up the her menta, her mental case to him because he's probably just going to get upset. So. Dark water. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sound right. label mentions Warehouse 36. That's Let's right. Let's go, then! It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. You don't have to tell me something I already know. All right. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. He wasn't even getting any... Dies, he wasn't getting frantic. In a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting. Sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Fuck Come you! Inside. Just not like I have a choice. Dark. I hate. I hate him now. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no it's doubt right find there. some information on this island in there. Okay. Well, I want to go and investigate some more. So, 
And I'm gonna take another drink. I'm gonna have a drink. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't know I could get drunk. Okay. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. It doesn't make me wobble or nothing. It just makes me see, like, Dark have double vision. Off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. Darkwater Island has since been inhabited since the 14th century and is still rich with the many memories left by its lost tribes. But don't let the romanticism of these moving evidences of such naive and primitive beliefs fool you into forgetting how violent their gods were. A gigantic creature still ornates the walls of long abandoned caves. Was it a sea or a dream god? No one knows, but today's inhabitants, the sons and daughters of the proud whale hunters, still remember the mysterious and tum <clears throat> tumultuous story of their small land off the coast of Massachusetts. If I'm... Well, if I, I am butchering the words. Course. I am I not going to do I that yet. Boat a good old story of blackmail in a speakeasy. The bar owner who hired me didn't like the way I closed this case, but when you're already outside the law, there's not a lot one can do against a private detective who's got proof against you. Ah. So, I made some enemies. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The husband never understood that his wife had left him. He kept on calling me weeks after the investigation had been closed. Ooh, learning a medicine. It details the symptoms and suitable treatments. Okay. Now what? Did that actually do something for me? Maybe it did. Sub menus. Dark water. Clues. Sanity. Edward Pierce is a veteran of the First World War, where he took part in the Meuse Argonne Offensive. He is one of the few survivors of the Lost Battalion, American units that suffered heavy losses from enemy and allied artillery fire, forced to hold their position for several days, surrounded by the bodies of their fallen comrades without food or medical supplies. The soldiers were considered as lost as their fellow countrymen. Pierce is traumatized by these events. He consumes sleeping pills and liquor to ward off the nightmares that haunt him. Confident in your abilities and your Cartesian mind, your conduct your you conduct your investigation by sticking to the facts, your convictions, and your perspective perception of reality. Your conclusions are logical and reliable. Okay. My old lighter that I engraved in the memory of the 77th Infantry Division and the men of the Lost Battalion who fell. Excuse me. Alright, so I investigated this. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Will you hold on a minute? I don't know if you're honking for me, but you can just chill out. I used to be an avid reader. You're not going to say anything I else about why it? why I still take these things. The doctors prescribed them when I returned from the war. They swore that they would put an end to the nightmares, but for a while now their effect has been wearing off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, jeez. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having cursed, caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting. On the shipping label, an address, a warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be the starting point for Pierce's investigation. Okay, then. So Darkwater is where it all starts, then. He's been having nightmares, though. So why? Is Cthulhu going to pop out of the water? Oh, are you kidding me? That was just an introduction!
And there he is. Actually, he's got a pretty good backstory so far. Oh, I'm not skipping this. I am not. A game by Cyanide Studio. I like how he just points off into the distance, it's like, as if, look the other way! Get away from me! I don't like how you're, how you look at me. You alcoholic. I'm a, I'm a very careful alcoholic. So. The Call of Cthulhu. I was going to ask if that was my ship. It looked a little damaged. Oh, there was a light. Was that a lighthouse? It's quiet. Too Stay on quiet. Board. There's guys coming to unload. What Welcome guys? Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. Now he's probably gonna leave me behind. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. Uh, nice young woman. New place discovered. The Darkwater Port. You know what? Go have what? a drink of the stranded whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going that is a very good information. Talk to Fitzroy. This is Fitzroy, right? You're Fitzroy. Secondary objectives, go to the bar and talk to Bradley. Wow. I want to go take a look at this whale real quick. Oh, that's Officer Bradley. can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Killer whales have few predators. And there are no sharks in these waters. What creature could possibly have done this? You can't so I actually said it right. Not sailors. It's a sign. There's something wow. Coming. Something Look at that. Look at bad. the damage. Look at all that damage. What was that? Ah, uh, it's a crab. The cops, they can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. The same goes It's okay, inside. Bradley. Move what? On. I was on your side. Ask about the warehouse. These sailors get upset over nothing. You're totally out of your depth. They seem to be very agitated about a dead animal. <laughs> You're telling me. These fools think that putting the whale back in the water will bring about the end of the world. <laughs> They're superstitious. If only you knew. They only listen to Captain Fitzroy. And not always. And you. What brings you to our island? I'm looking for this. I'm address. here to see the sites. Warehouse Check on 36. anything Cthulhu related. The harbor. <laughs> I like you, so I'll be frank with you. Don't go near the place. Don't try to get in. Why? Because I told you so. Learn this is a major Scooby-Doo shit going on. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't Don't put that beast back in Well, that's the my job, is to find out information. They're cops. They can't understand. All right, you guys are just repeating yourselves. 
Oh, hello, there was something shining green in the window there. I think I'll go to the bar next, but we'll do that in the next episode. So, thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to fist bump that like button, subscribe if you haven't, share this video with your friends because this is honestly a really cool game. I don't know why I haven't actually seen a lot of videos of this or heard a lot about it. But to me, it's fantastic. I, I like this kind of stuff. I like the story of it so far, and I'm really going to be interested in it. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.